everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome back to my paint pouring channel. Glad to have you here. Today I'm going to finish up my series on painting on Lazy Susans. But before I get you down to my countertop, you're going to see a little video clip that is a YouTube auto name generator. And it is going to pick the winner of the 75K subscriber giveaway and a name will pop up and whoever's name pops up wins a free commission piece from me, uh, 10 by 20 canvas, any colors you want, any technique you want, finished off with resin, hardware added, shipped to you free. Everything's completely free. So best of luck to everyone who entered that contest from video number 399. Good luck and uh, I'll see you after. mind frame. Hey guys, it's Karen. So this is the last Lazy Susan. I had a really good one going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm spinning it out and everything's groovy. And then there was this line here. I just stopped the camera like two seconds ago. And this I think is a giant, where's a skewer? Like a booger in my art. And I'm like, what are you? Oh yeah. Oh gross. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh, good thing I had my hand down there because that just there it is. Look at that. I have no idea how that got in there or what it is or like a string of house paint or what. <sighs> there. I've been, my, um, I had this attached underneath and it, it fell off. So I have nothing to spin with. I'm never going to get that off. And I was trying to get that other side off. I'm like. I'm not going to show you like 15 minutes of me. Like, I'm just going to go again. I'm mad. Truth be told. I'm just going to go again and pretend it never happened. So we're gonna use that paint to just slide things around. And look closely at my white. I mean, I know it's getting low in the can, but I didn't scrape it or anything. Bizarro. Anyway, this is the last of this series of the um, Lazy Susans. I'm kind of Lazy Susaned out. Um, my Patreons were supposed to pick the last technique and they ended up in a tie. <laughs> so for those that wanted like um, a Dutch pour, I promised to do a Dutch pour for you guys. Maybe my, um, my um, live at the beginning of the month, the beginning of June, that'll be our live pour that I do with my patrons. So if you're interested in joining us, check out the link in the description section. Let's start off. This is Liquitex, um, Liquitex, yellow green. Followed by some Deox purple from Golden. Followed by this little piggy in Lagoon. followed by another piggy, Sapphire. Something like that. Maybe another little layer. I want to, I really liked what I had going on because I had um, bits of color everywhere. Like, it was pretty. It was super pretty. Um, any 
feathers. Little touch of sapphire. And we're going to use one thing I did different that I talked about earlier that you missed is I'm going to grab paper towel. I have been playing around lately with blowing everything out, no matter how big or how small, with low fan on my hair dryer instead of high fan. I did, well, it was clean. I did clean off my Wazer a couple days ago. You would can never tell because it's already splattered. But my Wazer doesn't say how many watts it is, or maybe it does. My Wazer is 1875 watts. So I've been using it on low. And the reason why is I feel like um, I have a just a modicum of control in following the wave that I create and following it out. Um, whereas when you have it on high fan, it definitely moves the pink better. But man, you gotta be super coordinated to keep the, the air behind the wave and knowing when to like pull up and, or pull away. So um, we're definitely gonna try Cool Wear Low Fan tonight. So let's put down Lamp Black CA first. Square to that and then Titanium White. And we'll give this a blowout. So wish me luck, here goes. All right, I gave a couple puffs in the middle and I said I was gonna modify. Oh my goodness. Cause you guys, these, they're not the jam for me. But man, I love them. Every time I watch like Cindy Vanderveen or Jodie Flynn or some, or Charmin Khan or somebody else do them, I love them. But then when I do it to my own art, I'm like, yeah, not so much. Um, but I feel like that middle section needs some help. And I, I have, from watching everybody, I have learned a couple little tips and tricks. Some of it I knew from my Zentangle days. Like if you make L's, you'll make petals. If I make counterclockwise circles, I'll have loops on the outside. No, if I make clockwise circles, I'll get loops on the outside. If I put this in the white and go counterclockwise, I'll get loops on the inside. Um, and of course, you can just run a line through it. Where can I demonstrate? Well, I kind of like this line here. Somewhere I know it's going to like come off. Like if I come over here and go this way. It's like one direction, and if I take it in, it makes, oh wait, did I do it backwards? I think I just did it backwards. It'll make loops inward. How did I do it last time? Anyway, you get the idea. Just play around. This is what L shapes look like. You just make the letter L and follow your line over and over again and it makes leaves um which you can't see but the leaves are on both sides whereas here they're only on the one side um 
I don't know about that middle part. Maybe I continue on. This is just circles. It's like an echo where you're, you're making a line, like waves going around it. That's what I call those. That's like another Zentangle term. Um, I'm not liking the echoes on there though. So let's go, actually, actually let's take them and just swirl some out. Maybe I leave the middle alone. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That was me going in uh, two different directions. I mean, it's hella fun. I just don't know if this look is for me. I'm gonna leave the middle alone for a second and give this a spin. Unfortunately, my my stick fell off during that first iteration. So I'm just gonna pick one spot for my thumb. And what I'm probably gonna do, actually I'm gonna turn the camera off and back on again so I can put the spinning part on uh, speedy mode because it is a Lazy Susan after all, and they do not spin very fast. So let me do that. Changed my mind. I like those on the very edges. I'm gonna tilt, because that's kind of fun. Like that with the negative space, and if I keep doing that, I'm gonna lose my negative space. So let's just take this, even if it gets a bit deconstructed, you know I love that, and let's tilt this down. And I'm gonna pick a spot for my thumbs, hopefully where it's just white, so I can touch it up later, and slowly just tilt this. And we're gonna rock it back and forth. At least get it the weight of the paint um, closer like to my bottom down here the paint slowly rolling off slow 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 I want to keep some of the cells let's go back the other way now and put things back where they were It's really slow moving. All right, let's take a look. Oh my gosh, it's kind of fun, right? I'm glad I didn't mess with the middle. Yeah. Um, depending on if I want to, what I do with my stick. Let's do something with these or just leave them come straight off like that. Or... Add a little something right there. And see that went the other way. Let me go. Just a little something. I don't like the um I don't like this. Like I just need that to be plain white right there. And same with here. Let 
And this one, I'm gonna boss it around. Just push it over a little bit. I'd rather have this just be, match the other areas. I'm just gonna push this one with my finger and just like kind of curl it over there a little bit. That's good. I can use my skewer to make that look cuter. There we go. And I'll probably just touch this one up and just touching the white and backtracking it like that. Oh yeah, that looks super cute. Ta -da! I'm super happy with this. I think it looks awesome. Um, let me clean up, get you guys down for a close up. Okay guys, here's the close up of the wet results. I did a couple things. One is the one side, I think over here, it had a bunch of swirlies. I took those off. Um, they bugged me and the middle bugged me. So I added some baby swirls in there just to soften it up um, and have it ma match like the ends. I feel like it's busy, but I think that's like just my own personal preference. Um, I do think it's kind of cool. I think it makes for a great Lazy Susan, for sure. Let me get you down on some of my favorite parts. I do, well, first off, up high, I really like that all the colors are represented fairly evenly. Um, and it looks very, very balanced. Uh, there's a lot of symmetry going on with the swirlies, with the amount of negative space matching in places. Um, what are my favorite parts? Like, I love the white cell activator. Don't get all blurry. There we go. In there. And these multicolor cells in here, are they're just badass. I love those. There's the middle. It just has lots of baby swirls just to make it softer. I didn't like the pointy edges that were going on earlier. And I like how it's all surrounded by the purple or that yellow-green color. And then my favorite cells are over here. These guys here are just, they're wicked cool there. And just, yeah, very colorful, very happy. The purple representing there for sure. And the um, lagoon and the sapphire over here. I'm trying to spin it. I'll just walk because I have nothing to grab onto. And the swirly and the curly cues. The guys, let me, you guys will have to let me know what you think. I know this is not my typical style, but it's good to go outside the box, right? And it doesn't want to um, focus. Let me put it like this so you can get a good look at it. Kind of turn it maybe underneath. And we're just going to let it sit here. And I'm going to cover it up. There we go. And uh, let it dry. Yeah, let me flip around. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried and resin results of this piece and I actually got out all the pieces from this series plus the extra ones I did on the side. Here is this one. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm getting sparkles to show up. I never do that. What's different? It's daytime instead of nighttime. Do you see it? You see the sapphire? flinging out there. Oh, down here too. Oh, super, super pretty. So there's the modified bloom one. Let me know what you think of that one. And then just a quick review. I have um, a couple extra pieces that I did in between the series. So we had the cloud pour that was left over paint from the first Lazy Susan, which is over here. This one um, that one's my favorite for some reason. I don't know why. It just has a je ne sais quoi. I think I like the line work. And then over here is the one that was inspired um, from colors from Rinse Downa. <gasps> Look, I am get, totally getting sparkles to show up today. So, so pretty. Now we're blinging out. Look at that. So there's that guy. And then... Grapes on the vine here, which was the wild blowout. Are you gonna sparkle too? You are. Really pretty. And then finally, 
um, when I had done the this pour and the cloud pour, um, I had was experimenting with um, a pearl pour. And remember, it was video 297, and the cells had taken over. And this is what I ended up doing with it and turning it into a tree of life because that's where the black was and the whole thing was cells. So just added some branches and, you know, gave it some uh, composition. So that's it. You have to let me know which Lazy Susan is your favorite. And yeah, let me flip and say goodbye. I thought I'd show my face anyway. Because <laughs> I have to give a shout out and a congratulations to Debbie Kaplan. Congrats, Debbie. Um, I hope she's watching this video. And uh, I will go and try to find her on Facebook or somewhere so I can message her. Um, thanks for, to everyone for tuning in and for supporting me. I appreciate it so much. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Please like, share, and subscribe as usual. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace out.